It is Brazil in yellow serving, the USA in all blue receiving. This is match number two from match day three of the FIVB Women's Volleyball Nations League. And it is two heavyweights of the women's game having at it. USA getting the first point and the side out. A clash befitting of an Olympic Games, and indeed they have played each other several times in Olympic Games gold medal matches, World Championship matches. It's always exciting, it's always high level, and this should be no different. Gabby now back to the serving line. What the USA have in height and power, Brazil have in tenacity, determination, and solid defense. Scramble from Larson. Robinson will have another go. And this time, though, no. she hasn't found the core. The defense I just mentioned for Brazil in evidence. And now they have the lead. Gabby back to the serve. And it always seems for Brazil that the big games bring the best out of them. Tori Dixon, known as Tori Dixon. She has her first serve of the match. Not finding her mark. USA just struggling a little bit with their serve. They'll be have had their serving targets, which, as we can see, with that ball going long, they're trying to push Brazil very deep and make them move. Just not quite got accustomed to that. Top swing on that pipe from Larson, a super spike from her. Again, well that's three in a row now for the USA, but again it's the same thing, they're trying to go deep, they're trying to force Brazil, they've got quite a high passing line to have to go back, but if you don't get the ball in, it doesn't matter what you're trying to do, there's a free point for the other team. Paola now with the serve. She's having trouble. opportunity maybe Rekka could have played that she turned around and saw it dropping by her feet but also saw that Courtney was steaming in trying to get it and as it is nobody got it Natalia now goes to serve long but Recky's got it off the hands so USA have the point and she has the serve Nick Cam showing how Brazil lining up for this serve receive and that's a good example of when the ball goes in exactly what the USA are trying to do they didn't have Brazil under pressure but some poor blocking at the net allows Brazil to get that side out which they really had no right to get they're under pressure. The ball was going over the net, but somehow they've come up with it. Now, Annabelle Trees with the serve. That one a little too hot to handle. It was dug. But unfortunately for uh, Natalia, not in the best position. We have a look at number 12. Defence, bottom of your picture. She was still moving, not quite getting to where she needs to be early enough. Well left, although we've got two differences of opinion here. Brazil think it's out, the USA think it's in. We're going to have a challenge, we're going to have a 
a decision from Hawkeye as to whether it's in or not. If it's out, Brazil take the point. If it's in, USA will take the point. And it is. Oh, wow, what is that? <laughs> it is out, goodness me. Well, it doesn't get any closer than that. But Guimaraes will tell you it was never in doubt. He knew that was out. Well, that's as close as it gets. That Chris to serve. Excellent angle from Larson. It was a little tight to the net. And she was a little square onto the net, but able to hit across her body. Getting away from her body, in fact. Nice swing from her. Larson now with the serve. Oh, great put away from Mara. Macris just kneeled down, went down low to give some time for Mara to get in the air and then shot it up to her really quickly. We head into the first technical timeout. Brazil lead by one. The only way Brazil were able to run that middle was because Macris had created some time by going really low and then setting the ball from a low point. A nice close start to this first set. Those of you that follow these two teams and follow volleyball of this level will be expecting nothing less, really, given the makeup of the sides. Very evenly matched for the moment. Well, come down to the tactical battle and who can win that, who can force their will. Right now, the USA have made a few serving errors. And if you want to get involved on Twitter, you can do hashtag VNL, hashtag be part of the game, at FIVB Volleyball. See what's happening around the other venues. Mara turns around to see the ball drop at her feet. unhappy that that wasn't picked up. These are the opportunities Brazil need to take. Macris just seemed to stop. Drews and Recky had no idea where it was. Eyes closed when that ball was spiked. And then, even though it hit Recky, she had no clue where it had gone. Recky's in early, she's kept the middle block with her, Anna Patrice it was, who was at least had to be aware of her, and then that meant she was delayed in getting out wide, and Robinson, as a result of that, has a free swing into the cross-court area. Oh, good touch from Larson. And Recky, free ball for Brazil, three front-court attackers available, Gabby's getting ready on the pipe. And it's Paolo who tries to work the block, but it's Brazil who find themselves still in this rally and find themselves losing the point because Robinson just works the block. Fabulous rally. All down to that wonderful dig from Larson. Suddenly, USA in the driving seat. USA now with the lead. The opportunity here for Brazil, but Anna Patrice never going to get it. Didn't matter. Natalia is able to find a gap in the block. So important. If you're a middle blocker and you play that ball in transition, you have to give it enough height so that you can come in and have a swing. You don't want to take yourself out of the play by playing the ball in too low. 
big thing in volleyball so important is that height equals time. The more height you can put on the ball, the more time you've all got to get in position to be ready to have the swing and the more time the setter's got to have a little look, check what's coming. And that swing from Natalia looked as if it was out. It's been given as out. We still want to have a look. Is Grimaris going to be two for two or is he going to lose a challenge? Well, he's lost the challenge, it's out. He has one challenge left now in this set. So that means if he challenges again and he gets it wrong, he'll have none left. If he gets it right, he keeps it. Robinson up to four. Leading scorer at the moment for the USA. It is the two outside hitters who are doing the work. Larson's got a couple of points. Megan Courtney can't keep that one in play. Scoreboard ticks over. Brazil take the point, it's all square. What could leave? Last a jump, he's realised if I'm having to jump, it's got to be going out. And wisely let it go. Brecky goes back to serve. For those of you and perhaps don't know, once the whistle goes, you have eight seconds in which to serve the ball, otherwise you lose the serve. And that's quite a long time. If you think about it, count it out in your head, 1,001, 1,002, eight seconds gives you a lot of time to prepare yourself and put that ball in play. Super spike accredited to Paula. In the middle, no one there to stop her. Just going to take the point. Drews, who started game one, had a very indifferent performance against Korea, even though they won 3 1, was eventually substituted. And in her place came uh, Jordan Thompson, who played brilliantly. Drews knows that she's got Thompson breathing down her neck. She's also got Caster Lowe, who is the number one opposite for the USA. So for Drews, it's all about making sure that she plays well enough to stay on court. Impress the coach. That's a great block from Gabby. And right now, as she gets credited with a monster block. Drews is 0 for 2. Solid stuff. Just what you expect from Larson. Ball out wide. Grimaris not happy because they know Larson likes to hit that ball cross court. Gets it in between the seam of the block and no one's covering deep at five. A big swing from Gabby and even with the defender there they can't handle it. Block's gone too wide, Drews hasn't lined it up properly. Gabby's had a free swing cross-court. Chris, second time round to the serving line for her. We head into the second technical timeout and Brazil have opened up a three-point lead. Both coaches talking about blocking. I'm probably both saying the same thing. We heard that uh, Lucas Slavo was talking about let's get the hands on 10 and 12 and take away the cross court angle. And I'm 
imagine Brazil will say the same thing because both Robinson and Larson have had success hitting the ball cross court, just as Gabby and Natalia have had for Brazil. Let Chris to serve again. Robinson now moves into the front row, Larson into the back to serve and play defence. Also be available to hit from the middle of court in the back row. But won't be doing so as that ball is put away nicely by Paola. She finds a gap in the block. This time goes cross court just after USA were talking about let's close that down, let's not let her swing, let's get hands in front of the ball. Didn't happen. And timeout call by the USA. Big lead this for Brazil. System swings. Cash, you found a nice answer off the end. Smart out of system swings on this good out of system block. After this side out. Hey. Seat and read a little bit on gap. Pins, we got to be better going out, especially when middle is not in your zone. Let's see that. Natalia, number 12, three PP on out of system. Okay, that's game plan. So get six hands in front of us. Oh, Lucas Love is now up the ante. He's saying if they get out of system and it's going out wide, we want six hands. He wants all three blockers up making the block, not two. So they really are going to try and flood the area to deny Natalia and Gabby to be able to hit cross court when they're out of system. Out of system means that uh, Brazil don't have all their hitting options. If they're in system, and now the USA, they're out of system because they didn't have the middle to go to. But what a swing that is from Kelsey Robinson against three blockers. Finds the angle cross court, a super spike from her. Stay in play, does stay in play. Great work by Jordan Poulter. Well, that one has gone out. And eventually Brazil take the point, but that was brilliant. Rekka turned around, didn't see the ball, and then suddenly sees it go past her. And it's like, oh, 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 brilliant. Had a quick swing, missed it, got it second time. Poulter puts it in, but it's Brazil in control of the rally. And Natalia, who comes up with the point. And there's a little change up here. Natalia going off. Natalia's been uh, had some issues with her knees and hasn't done a lot of jumping, just come back into the squad this week and so doesn't want to overdo it. So is being used sparingly. Amanda's now come in and taking her place through the outside. And again, such a good player, and hits the ball so quickly, but at the moment there's a bit of inconsistency, which is giving Brazil this lead. So I'm going to say call the timeout, that's their second timeout they've called now, they don't have any left in this set, you only get two per set. Larson's been solid, as you would expect. A player that plays her volleyball in Turkey, estimated to earn in the region of a million dollars a year playing professional volleyball. And a player that is very, very reliable. So far, three points for her. Not that had that, but only had three swings. A fan favourite here is Larson, having grown up and gone to university here in Nebraska. Morrow 
with her customary 25 bounces before she throws the ball up to serve. That's more like it from Drews. That's why she's in the national team. That's what she's there to do. This time, she's shown the cross court and then whipped it to the line. Absolutely no stopping that one. Brilliant swing, a super spike from Drews. And looking to back this up with a good serve. Oh, she has done. It's an ace serve. That's brilliant from Drews. And some momentum here for the USA. A super spike followed by an ace serve. And an unblinking Kanch Kirai looks on. Can the USA get back into this one? Timeout called by Brazil. Time out call just to try and break up that bit of momentum that the USA got from those two points. Drews has had time to think about this now, has to almost start again. When you get a player who's serving well, you kind of have uh, first serve, second serve, put a bit more heat, third serve, go for it, especially if it's jump serving. Well, the jump float serve, the level stays the same. Decent ball in. Ooh, chases on, free ball here for the USA. Leia puts it up as high as she can so Brazil can get back in position, but it doesn't help them. Recky hammers the ball on the floor. Three points in a row for the USA. They're back to within two. And we've gone super spike, a super spike. And that is what has been required here for the USA to get them back into this set. Great work from Recky. More trouble here for Brazil, potentially. But Paula works the block. Courtney not quick enough to pick up the pieces. Brazil get the side out. They may well have just done enough now to see off that USA charge. There's going to be a double substitution here for Brazil. Roberta is coming in, and she replaces Paula in the back row to serve. Macris has gone off because she was going into the front row and she's been replaced by Lorena. It's something that Brazil have done on each of their previous two matches. It puts the setter, the new setter, into the back row. Three front court attackers, so four hitting options for Brazil if they can get the ball into transition and also when they're trying to side out. Covering from Anna Batriz. Get up by Larson. Everyone's in a little bit too far. Kelsey Robinson gets blocked, and Brazil get themselves a break point, a point from service. And that's a big point for them as well, because now they're back to four in front. It was getting interesting, because the USA had taken three points to suddenly give Brazil something to think about. But Amanda comes up with the goods. Roberta to serve again. Brazil now three away from taking the opening set. been so solid such an achievement for Recky into this squad she's still at university isn't playing any pro volleyball right now still has a couple of years to go playing NCAA division one Consolation here. Well, they are saying that there's a violation on the centre line, but there's been a net touch prior to that, so the rally was over. So that ends that argument. There was the net touch, didn't matter what Amanda had done after that. The rally was over. Good up from Amanda. Oh, good touch. That's a brilliant touch from Jordan Poulter.
Augs oh, kept in play. Oh dear, what a shame for the USA. Brilliant again by Brazil. It's a mega rally, which gives Brazil set points. There's some wonderful defense both sides. That was great. So Jordan Poulter kept her eyes. She saw where the ball had gone, able to track it and get a hand on it. Megan Courtney also getting a hand on it, but taking it away from the rest of her team. Set point, Brazil. Good up from Roberta. Gabby for the set. Takes it, first time of asking. What a start for Brazil. 25-19, they take the opening set. The Brazilian fans go crazy. The USA fans somewhat stunned. Took Brazil 25 minutes to get their 25 points. And a tactical substitution paying dividends for Brazil. They just kept that pressure on the USA. It's a good hustle, it's a tough serving. And a few unforced errors from the USA as well helped the situation. And I'm saying that Brazil also made the same number of errors. Attack the USA. Some thinking time now for Karch. Who does he bring in? Who does he leave on? Does he make any changes? Does he leave it as it is? It all depends what their goals are, short term and long term, really. You also have to weigh that up with the fact the fans have come in to watch their team. And I'm expecting them, hoping that they will get a victory. Still a long way to go in the match. Potentially four more sets to come, and if you're a neutral, that's exactly what you want to see. And now we can have a look at the highlights from the first set. These are the stats from that first set. Brazil out attacking the USA and four blocks as well. One ace serve from the USA. Both teams made five errors and that was a real key moment for Brazil. Those blocks they made, and the times they made them. Psychologically, that's a big win for Brazil. Keeping the home crowd quiet giving something for the USA to think about. If you haven't been on social media yet, then do so. Hashtag enjoy VNL at FIVB Volleyball as well. You can go to and see what's going on around the Volleyball Nations League. Set two underway, Jordan Poulter with the serve. Brazil having taken the first set 25-19. But it's the USA who take the first point of set two with an excellent block. Paula suddenly found she had nowhere to go. trouble Brazil in a bit of trouble will have another swing opportunity here for Paula that was well done didn't even have a run-up standing jump nice high hard swing cross-court Brazil get their side out 
Lucky that wasn't called for a carry, really. It's a little bit sticky in the hands. Play continued. Brazil doing the right thing, playing to the whistle. It's another block for Brazil. This time, Larson gets closed down. That's better from Drews. When Drews gets it right, she is unstoppable. A super spike from her. Vicious. Fast swing. No touch. An error from Amanda. USA crept in front. This has all the hallmarks of a five setter. If it's not a five-setter and it is 3-0 to Brazil, it's going to be a close 3-0. Looking at the way this second set's going. For too many times, Megan Courtney is being caught with that ball. So a couple of things need to change. One, she needs to start higher in her base position. Or once she's absolutely sure, she needs to be quicker to go and chase the ball down. That's played short. Watch 17, she's back. She's still moving. That's a great touch from Macris. And that's what Amanda was trying to do earlier on. This time she gets it right, working the block. Was never looking for the court. And that's a, an important thing to note for volleyball at this level. You're not always trying to hit the floor. There's some situations where that's not possible. So what you're trying to do is work the block. Get it off the opposition hands and out of play. Mara with the serve for Brazil. Managed to edge themselves in front. Well, that's somehow kept off the net and not a carry by Macris or Anna Paula. And it's an error from Drews. Is it looking around as if to say, was it in, was it out? She's not really sure. When you're playing volleyball, you have to volley the ball, hence the term. And I did mention just a bit earlier about a carry. Well, it's effectively a catch. So the ball stays in your hands for too long. It should be a, an instant rebound. Which is why sometimes see players getting called for a carry when the ball stays in the hands too long. Excellent blocking from the USA. And they have made themselves a monster block. Ricky it was getting the finishing touch. And it's all square. Not sure what Larson was doing there in defense. I don't think she was either. Ended up playing it with one hand, off balance, falling backwards. Brazil get themselves the side out. They go into a, a weak rotation now for them, the next three rotations, because Macris is in the front row of the setter, so only two attackers in Amanda and Anna Batriz, plus not a great deal of height blocking-wise for Macris, so Kelsey Robinson likely to get the ball more often on this rally because she can go over the top of Macris. However, as all of that was unfolding, the ball's a little bit too low for her. Verreira put that one in the net. Certainly, the tactical option is for Jordan Poulter to give the ball to Robinson so that she can go past Macris. And 
instead it goes to Drews, who wraps it off the block in a way. In part, the ball wasn't very good. Polter's only real outlet was to go to Drews, who was ready and waiting. Good ball in from Leia. Oh, big swing from Paula. That may well have been going long, but such was the speed of the ball. Larson played in. You just saw Larson then moving her fingers to say, did you touch that? She said, I thought you did. That's why she played it. It did touch Repke, so she had to play it, really. Into the first technical timeout. Brazil lead by two. Paula's been playing well for Brazil. Some of her best moments. It's her first season playing for Brazil. Does have an under-23 World Championship gold medal to her name. Now making it into the senior team and having an impact. Just 25. Touches three metres and five in the block. Oh, sorry, in the spike and two metres 90 in block. So that's to be believed on the standing jump. She's getting just short of 50 centimetres above the height of the net with her hands. Amanda with the serve. Nicely done from Repke. Big swing from Drews. <laughs> Nicely done. Macris is front row, so she's allowed to play the ball above the net and over on the other side. Larson unable to stop her. That's a great pick up from Leia. Oh, that's a monster block from Paula. Brilliant work from her. Off the back of a wonderful pick up from Leia. What a pick up that is. Full stretch, hand under the ball. With USA getting into transition, Paola comes up with a monster block one on one. High from Matt Chris, purposefully for Leia to put it into play. Unfortunately, though, Paola's over rotated and ended up kind of facing towards that sideline, but mostly out, which is where the ball went to the discontent of uh, head coach Guimaraes. Jordan Poulter back to serve now for the USA. Brazil finished fourth at the 2018 Volleyball Nations League. They lost to China in the third, fourth playoff. The USA were victorious. They beat Turkey 3-2 in the final. 
Two teams we should expect to see in the final in China later this year. So there's going to be a challenge here for the USA. They think they've won that point. I think that there was a block touch as the ball went out. So we'll have a little look and see. team checking the video and then they're going to present the best angle well that's definitely touched the block and it was a four touches that was called so it had hit the block it's not four touches it's a replay and we'll go again Gabby's gone through this game almost unnoticed. Such has been the distribution from Macris. Everyone's getting in on the action. Good swing that from Gabby. Brazil, good for their lead at the moment. There's nothing much that the USA can do. Brazil are serving tough. They put him under pressure, getting into transition. And really making it difficult here for the USA. Drews with the swing. Well, she's done well. Macris thought it was going one way, and it was until it hit the block, and then went past her. Mara with the serve. See, Robinson then just saying to Poulter, that needs to be a bit higher. And for me, when you have a player who makes an error and then turns to the setter and says, I need it like this or I need it like that, they're not taking responsibility for their actions. There's a few coaches who would agree with that. Four, five, and six, they set some C and big. So just see really well okay, what's going on. If she's pretty really neutral on their slide going on, that means something's coming probably right on top of her, okay? Just see that. A little bit of back row. As far as Robinson's concerned, really, instead of saying to uh, Poulter, oh, it needs to be a bit higher, really just have a look at why did that ball not make it in? What did she do? In order for it to go wide, what can she do better? Certainly, Poulter's not trying to set a, a low ball on purpose. Just, uh, volleyball's an interesting sport. That when there's six of you, you can hide to a degree, but certainly nowhere near like you could hide if you were playing soccer or football. You have to take responsibility when that ball comes to you. And if you're the captain, you lead by example more often than not, which is at this level, why you end up being captain. Not only do you know the rules inside out, but one of the better players, if not the best player. Sometimes, though, you just happen to be the player or the person that's very good at organising and working well with everybody else around you. Brazil now opened up a five-point lead in this second set. Yeah. 
There was nothing else that Poulter could do. Jumping one-handed, reaching. Only Dixon was the option, and Brazil, they didn't read it in time. And the trees jumped a little too early. Dixon now with the serve. Once that ball is passed well at this level with these teams, very difficult for the defending side to stop the ball. Into the second technical timeout. Brazil lead by five. So this is where the setter has been contacting the ball for the USA. Quite a few of those uh, contact points outside the green zone, the way you really want the ball to be played, as opposed to Brazil, where the majority of them are inside the green zone, which tells you that one of two things, either Brazil are passing very well, or the USA aren't serving tough enough. Or maybe a combination of the both. USA are serving tough enough, but still Brazil are passing well. This has been Andrea Drew so far. A couple of blocks for her. She's had a service ace. And she's started to get going on that left side. I'm oh, sorry, on the right side with her left hand, putting the ball away. She's got eight points from the match so far. Six spikes, a block, and a serving ace. Double substitution for Brazil. It's the same substitution they made in set one. Lorena comes in, Roberta comes in. And if you do have the strength and depth of a, a good second opposite and a good second setter, in this case, Roberta's normally the first setter, and it's certainly something worth doing because you can end up with nine rotations with the setter in the back row, and giving you nine rotations with four or five attacking options. Drew's now with the serve for the USA. The USA, interestingly for them, haven't adopted this approach. It's something that they used to do an awful lot, double substitution and also take off their, uh, what was Kelsey Robinson and replace her. In fact, Kimberly Hill replaced Kelsey Robinson. We see that fantastic block, a monster block for the USA. Nowhere to go with that. So Brazil go for a timeout. start of that timeout making that arm action to uh, Lorena to say yep you can go go block out but try and bury it if there's a the ball's tight and there is a block big block in front of you well left by Brazil See the hand come up early from Robinson, which showed there was no attack or no hard hit coming. Brazil read it very, very well, got the ball into transition. Roberta gets it in play. And then a clever work, some clever work from Anna Batries actually, to get that over the top of the block and down in front of Drews. And the USA cool timeout. Well, if you've been following the USA here over the last few days, you will have heard me say that Coach Karai is normally a very quiet man, but when he goes, he goes, and he's just gone then. And he's not at all happy, and he's letting his team know. The only issue...
issue with that though as a player if you've got a coach that is screaming and shouting at you and you're losing where do you go you don't want to be end up more worried about what the coach is thinking and saying than you do about what's happening across the other side of the net that's an awful position to be in as far as the USA are concerned here, it's all about just getting that good ball in and, and potentially for them just hitting that a little bit smarter. But credit to Brazil. It just seems to matter, no matter what the USA are doing, Brazil, which is part and parcel of Brazilian volleyball, they fight so hard and get the ball off the floor. And then when they get it off the floor, they end up with plays like this. The block's not that well formed by Kelsey Robinson. Gabby finds the gap between her and the net, and Brazil take the point. This time, Retka puts it on the floor. From the USA's point of view, continue with the good passing, pressure from the serving line, and see if they can get back into this one and try and break Brazil down. called against Gabby she doesn't agree with it we were talking about catches and carries earlier what they are that's an example of what one is and now the captain is being called over to say don't question me Guimar as it was he was doing that look he's shaking his finger he's not happy if you take the ball and you move it towards the block and there's no block there and you carry on and that ball has stayed in your hands while you're making that movement it will be called as a carry That's the best way to deal with anything. When something doesn't go your way, the best response is to go back out and win the next point. Let the volleyball do the talking. Anna Patrice has done that, and now she goes back to serve. Rick is just getting better and better, growing with confidence with every play. A monster, a super spike from her. USA have made a change, so Mabuga's come in. So Tori Dixon's gone off, she's the one who's got the hook. Makes no difference for Brazil. They get themselves another side out. Lorena finds the gap between the two blockers. The double substitution for Brazil has been reversed. Macris is back in. Set it to the back row again. Paula in, replacing Roberta. Macris place, replacing Lorena. Gabby with the block, and it's amazing, isn't it? The different faces of a coach. One minute he's not at all happy, the next minute he's delighted. It's a one on one on the slide behind us, a great block from Gabby. Well, that was a little bit too far in front of Drew's, a little bit low as well, which might suggest that if the USA are going to get something out of this and get a result. That coach Karai might have to make a couple of changes here. Maybe Drews for Thompson and uh, Poulter for Lloyd. It's a tough call for him because he obviously wants this team, the one that he's picked, to battle it out and get themselves back into it. It's set point now for Brazil. Gabby gets it off the block and away. Again, some great hustle from Brazil to get that ball back in play. Everything they are doing right now is working. Brilliant from Amanda, back in play, nice and high. Macris out wide, Gabby gets block out. Macris will now serve.
Good up from Drew. She's been out into the action, but great play from the USA as Robinson runs on the 10. And a net touch by Brazil. That's some really good thinking from Robinson. It's something that they'll do time and time in training, but to make it work in the match is something very different. Drews had played that ball. She would be the player that would normally hit on that side. She was also in the way of where Robinson was likely to go. So she made a change. Poulter found it. Set point saved. Another chance here, though, for Brazil. And that's off the block and away. And Brazil take the set 25-17. Paula Swing getting the job done. And Brazil lead the USA by two sets to nothing. But we have a challenge. They may not be leading by two sets to nothing. Karch Kirai thinks that ball landed in. Worth a shot. Perhaps they're only delaying the inevitable in terms of where Brazil are at. It is out. It is the set to Brazil. They do lead the USA by two sets to nothing. Brazilian fans are absolutely delighted. Brazil raising their game. USA have yet to raise theirs. Confirmation of that set score, 25-17. It was a close first set, and then Brazil just edged away. But they got the lead earlier on in this uh, second set. Slightly better scoreline. Took slightly longer, 28 minutes to win that one. 25 to win the first to 19. There were a couple more challenges and a few more timeouts. And a few more substitutions. But is it about to be timeout here for the USA? They have to win this set now, otherwise it'll be all over. A straight set defeat at home. Good to see Carly Lloyd having a chat with Poulter, one setter to the other, talking tactics and distribution and helping the youngster out. Would suggest that Poulter's going to start this third set. Karch has had some time to calm down, have a little look at the stats from that last set, decide who he's going to put out for this third set. Whether Becky will get a run out, whether Thompson will get a run out. To be seen. Natalia is likely to. She is going to be staying off, so Amanda will stay on. They are looking very focused, the rest of the team looking quite relaxed. Here then are the highlights from that second set. What an absolute cracker it was. The crowd trying to get behind their team here. Big roars of USA, USA, as this third set is about to get underway. But will the shouting be enough? It's not time for words, it's time for actions for the USA. Macris with the serve to start this third set. Brazil lead by two sets to nothing. USA looking for side out. 
Drews puts that one away. USA made a couple of changes for this second set. Kelsey Robinson has been substituted out. Michaela Fecky has come in to replace her. And it will be Abugu who came on in the first set, who remains on for this third set. She actually came on in the second. Mara, though, as reliable as ever. That's her fifth point of the match. It might not seem like many, but she's done great work through the middle by being available, being up in the air, and making it then very difficult for the USA to get their blocker, their middle blocker, out wide to stop Brazil's attackers. Well, Fecky's been watching for two sets. She is not up to game speed. That's two passes that she struggled with. That one, a touched ace for Gabby. That was going wide as well. That's a good way to get your confidence straight back up. A super spike from her. Just see the height that Abugu got above the net. <laughs> Touched by Poulter. Drews didn't seem like she was ready for that one. A chance here for Brazil. And Gabby with the tip right in amongst four USA defenders who all look at each other. This has been part of the problem the USA have had, is that if you go for it, if you're the first person to move, then you've got to continue on and play the ball. Don't wait for anybody else. And the first player to move there was Abugu. She needed to carry on and go for it. Oh dear, Karch is not happy. Karch has said they left the players to sort it out amongst themselves. He's had his little shout, said, right, sort it. And the little interesting conversation there between Abugu and Drew is about saying, I think we both went together. But whoever goes, and it looked from what we saw, Abugu went first, so she continues. And then Drew's made her move, so Abugu stopped. But if Abugu hadn't and had carried on through, she could have made that dig. So a few issues to sort out on court for the USA. Brazil, though, will continue to apply the pressure. Interesting, Karch calling that timeout. Only one point in it. Brazil only leading by one. We obviously saw issues that he wanted resolving straight away so that it didn't get any worse. However, it's not getting much better for Fecky in pass at the moment. Brazil into transition. Oh, that was very easy. Find a gap. Put the ball through the gap. And that's what Amanda did. Drews went too wide. Ricky couldn't get close enough. Mara to serve. Good swing again from Fecky, but it's the passing that the USA need to sort out. Yeah, too many times in this set and towards the end of the last set, they were out of system from their pass. In other words, they didn't have all of their attacking options available to them. When you haven't got all your attacking options, it puts huge pressure on the one player that is the player that has to have the swing on the ball. That's well done. Recky has been a shining light for the team. Just 20 years of age, a monster block from her. University of Wisconsin at the moment in her senior year. Well, that doesn't look like it's hit the sideline. It went rattling into the net, didn't like it caught the block either. That's been the problem with Drew's. One minute she's world class, the next minute. She's not. Go! 
That might come back. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't, as far as Brazil are concerned. They, uh, with the sensible decision not to test her body against the advertising hoardings. The only one winner there, and it wouldn't be Leia. Fecky now with the serve. Oh, nicely played. Amanda into the corner. With the way that Brazil have played these first two sets, they're full of confidence. They're not phased by anything that's going on. They know that they have got the USA on the run here. And what they can ill afford to do, though, is give any cheap points to the USA. They don't want them to build any momentum, get any runs going. They managed to uh, put an end to that for the USA in the second set when Retke had three swings in a row. Well, that's a great serve. Recky is the one player. Maybe she's the key that could unlock this match for the USA. He's certainly doing anything, everything within her ability to make that happen. Gets the better of Amanda with the serve. It's an ace for Recky. Caught against the Buku, and then Leia lets it go. The crowd really enjoying that one. Fabulous piece of individual skill. Kamara is just saying, hey, 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 come on, it's technical time, eh? Pay attention. Having a look at the referee like it's all his fault. It nothing to do with the referee, but the team are two behind. So into the technical timeout. USA lead by two, but Brazil lead by two sets to nothing. That's the comeback on here for the USA. It's a great block from Mabuku, and then somehow she's managed to volley that ball in and get the point. But you can see Guimara is saying it should have been a double touch against Mabuku. He's not going to get any help, though, from the referee. The more you try to influence a referee, the less likely it's going to happen. Stop the coaches from trying, though. Well, Grimaris knows he's saying he knows it was a double, but Grimaris has got himself a yellow card for his for his uh, troubles by talking to the referee. He's not allowed to do it. He's not allowed to talk to the referee. Only the captain can. So a warning against uh, Guimarães. It'll say, it'll say, uh, Coach Guimarães yellow card. But that means now it's a warning for the whole team. So anyone else who steps out of line, there'll be a red card, and it will go to that person. But again, so they would then the team would lose the point. For someone to be ejected from the hall or to be taken out the game, they'd have to get a red and yellow card shown. One red in one hand, one yellow in one hand. That means you have to, that's it, you're out of the game. And then if you're expulsed, well, expulsed, if you're then sent out of the hall, it will be the red and yellow card held together. So not only have you left the game, you have to leave the vicinity of the arena. That happens so few and uh, far between, I can't say I've ever seen it in an international game of volleyball, either the red or and yellow. I've seen a few red cards in the heat of the moment. Right now, in the heat of the moment, it's the USA who are coming good. Well played by Larson. It's a 
completely different feel to this match now. Crowd really getting on side with the USA. And the players doing everything they can to turn things around. Polter with the serve. Good blocking by Obugu to slow that ball down from Mara. But Larson with the unforced error. So Brazil will take that point. Those of you that um, watch Karch Karai play when he used to play his volleyball, particularly when he went to beach volleyball after the indoor, will know that he does have a fiery temper. We saw a glimpse of it here. The most famous one for him was playing against Sinjin Smith in the final of a beach volleyball tournament. Might be Manhattan Beach. He lost the point for match point and tore the net down. Went absolutely crazy. Touch again, scrambled, and now Brazil come again. But this is much better play from the USA. They're making the touches, they're keeping the rally going, and they're winning the points. Drew with the finishing touch, and that time Megan Courtney got a hand on the ball. She's been struggling to make some touches as the Libro, but what an important touch that was. Firstly, the ball over, but then secondly, to make that touch to keep the ball alive. That was such a great set from Macris. Such a difficult thing to do, to set the ball behind your head with just one hand. Definitely not coming back this time. Apuga waiting for that one. And she hammers down the overpass. USA take the point. It's a super spike from her. A free swing. What a couple of pickets. Oh, that might have just caught the floor a bit. But anyway, play continued. And that one definitely caught the floor. for Fecky. Oh, I'll tell you what, Gabby had that, but Macris touched it and took it away from her. Although Macris doesn't have eyes in the back of her head and didn't get a call from Gabby. Fecky gets the point, USA lead by three. Timeout called by Brazil. If you're supporting the USA right now, it's exactly what you wanted. Your team are leading in this must-win set. If you're supporting Brazil, still harboring hopes that they'll turn it around and take the match. And if you're in neutral, you just want this to continue on. Let's see another set, possibly even a fifth set as well. It's a cracking game of volleyball. Suddenly, Karch Karai has given his team a rocket responded certainly the introduction of Abugu has been a plus point he has been great in offense passing still a little bit suspect it may well be a uh, target from Brazil from the serving line as she has been so far Glass has not passed anything Abugu now with the serve for the USA Oh, what a pick-up from Gabby. The USA look far more in control now. Look more comfortable. They're getting out 
to the wing spikers. They're getting good touches in the block and then they're putting the ball into transition and they're doing to Brazil what Brazil did to them in the first two sets. Maiani comes in to replace Mara through the middle. Ball in. And then the gap in the block exploited by Gabby. Moves Gabby up to 15 points. And the USA think that might be wide. Block touch, yes, block touch. Oh, really? So the, the challenge is block touch, but I think the ball was given as in. So it doesn't matter if it touched the block or not. For, well, for the USA to have called block touch, the ball must have gone out. And uh, the, the decision was that it had touched the block. Well, it did. So there we have the answer. That could have been told to him. Drews could have told him I touched that, and it would have saved him making a challenge. And that's really where you want the honesty of your players. You don't need to waste challenges and lose them. I mean, she could have turned around and said, no, I touched it. That's a good dig from Courtney. And a great swing from Larson. It's a different USA team now in this third set. It's the team that the home fans were expecting to have turned up in sets one and two. They're here now, though. And Brazil definitely find themselves in a game-on situation. Drews with the serve. swing from Amanda. Mary Lake has come in as the libero for the USA. Unable to stop that one. Matt Chris has gone off, so too has Paula. Roberta's come in and Lorena's come in. It's the same substitutions we've seen in the previous two sets for the same reasons. But if you're just joining us, well, it's for Macris to go in the back row as a setter, Lorena to come into the front row as a right side blocker attacker. Too hot to handle. You can see why Recky has been elevated to the national team. Well, still in the middle of her university degree course with Wisconsin. What a talent. Timeout has been reached, the second technical timeout. in the first two sets. However, the USA are giving as good as they got. They now lead by four. Becky with the serve. Well played by Drews. Oh, that is just phenomenal from Larson. Improving. You don't have to hit the ball hard. You certainly don't get any extra points for it. What you have to do is find the space, and she's done that brilliantly. It'll cut away from the block. The 
touch from Lake. A little bit inside for Drews, but she makes something of it. Good dig from Fecky. Better chance now, options to go wide. Larson, good up by Gabby. Excellent rally this is developing into. And the ball is dug out of play by Lorena. It's a huge block, a mega rally. USA are in full control of this third set. Awesome volleyball. Is it going to be... The stuff of uh, Hollywood movies, USA, two down, start the music, they come back, take the third, take the fourth, drama in the fifth, and see themselves over the line. That would be script-worthy, wouldn't it? Brazil have called the timeout. They are a long way behind in this third set with the same players in the same positions and the same substitutes but the changes that the USA have made have turned the tide Obugu has come in and Fecky has come in and it's a very different looking USA team who have a, a big six point lead in this third set the pass from Leia and nicely played by Roberta. Fast ball to Anna Patrice. As far as the USA are concerned now, it's all about their side out game. If they keep putting the ball in and can side out without giving any points away to Brazil in that department, there's no chance for Brazil to get back into this set. And that's exactly what Gretke has just done with that side out. incredible how much momentum affects volleyball and how also mentally you can be affected when a couple of points don't go your way and then the other team get on top 11 points now for red key she's playing brilliantly and that last point that she just had prior to her serve taking her up to 12. good dig from gabby but again all the things that were going right for brazil in the first two sets are now going right and the way of the usa as that ball pops up for Poulter. it could have gone anywhere and it's popped up for Poulter, who just pings it down with a snap of the wrist to get the point for her team. And the USA need five to take this third set. They won't get them like that, though. Not that it matters. It's all about their side-out game. well done you don't get called for a double touch off the first touch in any part of the rally when it's on your side of the net so Mayani's volley unless it was considered to be a carry and it's a double touch but it doesn't count so Brazil able to play the point despite the boos around the crowd every first touch of three you can double touch the ball and don't you don't get penalized for it Free ball now for the USA. Although Drews has taken Poulter off the net. So now Brazil have a chance. Gabby went a little early, didn't matter. She gets it down the line. Drews can't keep it in play. This is now a very interesting position in this set because it was looking so good for the USA. But a couple of points now for Brazil. And they're closing the gap. They're able to get a few more here. That would really put the cat amongst the pigeons, potentially. They've got an opportunity to get one. And they've done it. Pulse has tried to get all the way from four, all the way out to two. Instead of just shuffling along and saying, get out, get out, and sending Abugu out wide. You look where Pulse is, she's never going to get out there. Abugu needed to go on out and become the outside blocker for that. 
free swing for Gabby. Timeout called by the USA. Assertive, taking a big spence here. A really nice help on Gap, okay? So continue with that. 24 outside hand. Be great on Gabby shutting down zone six in system, okay? We're going to be just fine. No back row attack. Brazil still three points behind. That's still a long way in international volleyball terms. You'd expect the USA to go on and see this set out, really. Gabby, with that last swing, brings her up to 18 points now. She's got six, 16 spikes, one ace and one block. Anna Beatriz looking for a serving ace. She doesn't have one of those yet in her five-point haul, four spikes and one block. It's a good serve. Is that going to come back? No, it isn't. That is an absolute belter. It is indeed a super spike from Jordan Larson. Got everything through that one. Turned Gabby. That's a great swing. Brilliant play by Lorena. No chance for Mary Lake. Brazil are keeping Lorena on and keeping Roberta on. Double substitution to reverse that. Not happening just yet. Oh, what a serve from Lorena. An overpass. Gabby puts it down. Oh, it's getting interesting now. 21-19. It's not as comfortable for the USA as it was. Lorena needs to make sure this serve goes in, though. Make the USA work. Good ball from Fecky. And Drews helps to calm things down by getting the side out. Amanda was too far into court. She should be playing six around the baseline. Awesome with the serve, just getting a serving instruction. Went after Gabby, front court swing hitter. Now she's got three blockers to get past. And she has done. What a great swing from her. Still, the scenario is the same for the USA. It's about their side-out game right now. The double substitution has now been reversed. So Macris comes in at position six. Paula in at position three. Nicely played, Abugu through the middle. She's been unstoppable. Hasn't had that many swings, but the ones she has had haven't come back. Oh dear. Timing was all wrong. But not so for Retke. She puts that ball away. It's set point now for the USA. They have weathered the storm that Brazil put up halfway through this third set. And they're on the verge of taking set three. Covering by Leia. Oh, somehow stays in play from Drews and threw an arm at the ball. But no longer as it goes off the block and away. First set point saved. But you would expect that the USA will side out one of the next three serves that Brazil put at them and take the set. That's the daunting task that uh, Mayani has here. There's only three points from serve. To get to 24 or make it a two point set. Oh, what a swing, but what a pickup from Larson. Well, that's not coming back, so the first 
Or rather, the second set point is saved. The first from serving. And the same situation. USA looking for side out. But now they've only got two chances to win the set in regulation from side out. Ayani once again. Drews gets it off the block and down. She's had a stuttering match, but that is the set that the USA needed, the point that she needed. 25-20, USA takes set three. It is, however, Brazil who lead by two sets to one. Confirmation of that set score, 25-22 for the USA after losing the first two to 19 and 17. A great turnaround. A change in personnel. And it seemed to change the attitude and the dynamic on court. What a fabulous match so far. We're going to have set four in a moment, but before that, here are the highlights from set three. This is where the USA have been uh, spiking the ball in their contact points. The green returned, oh, sorry, the green unreturned, the red returned. And it's when they put those, those uh, spikes into the far corners, the ball hasn't come back. USA with more attacks, two blocks. But they gave Brazil four errors, a really good set in errors from Brazil's point of view. Just one mistake they made, unforced errors. USA really up their game in attack. They'll need to continue to do that if they're going to send this match to a deciding fifth set. It's still a must-win scenario for the USA as they are one set to two behind. No changes for Brazil for the start of this one. Mara's come back in. Mayani's gone to the bench. Bulu also stays on, as you might expect. Drews keeps her place. That's been uh, a real spectacle for the fans here. Not perhaps the one they would have liked. A little bit nail-biting, having lost the first two sets. But now, right behind their team, as they have been throughout this match. For the neutral... It's an absolute corker. Larson through the block. Great uh, defence from Feki. Mara was way over the top of the block. Good work by Obugu once again. Oh dear. Polter trying to rescue that one, does so, but touches the bottom of the net with her hands. Now that Brazil know what they're up against here, and having got some momentum from that last set despite losing it, you get the feeling this could be a very, very close fourth set. Oh, brilliant. Well, Drews may have had a shaky start. 
And she might be brilliant one minute, not the next, but that was brilliant, a super spike from her. Once she gets everything right, she's in the right position, and that ball's in her hitting zone. Very rarely does it come back. Good covering by Leia. And by Fecky, but she's out of the play, so it's Larson who has to do something with it. Gabby does something with it. All square. Excellent pickup from Fecky. Took herself out of the play, though. And then it's Gabby who works the block and gives Brazil the point. Mara now with the serve. Some expression to be cleared from the court. Standard dig from Macris. Good hustle from the USA. And it's an unforced error from Drews. And that gives Brazil the lead in this set. Mara once again. Touch from Matt Chris had to change direction. She was going inside. Good up from Courtney. And again, a brilliant pickup from Matt Chris. A bit of football from Gabby. Free ball for the USA. Three front row attackers, and it's a boogoo who hammers the ball down through the middle. The USA get back level. It's a mega rally. It had everything. Two fantastic pickups from Matt Chris. Some improvisation from Gabby. And a super spike to finish it off from Obugu through the middle. This game has just got better and better and better as it's gone on. Back a little bit too soon in terms of serving, but serving can be a high risk strategy when you jump serving. Jump float serves you, you expect the players to get the ball at least over the net. And the ball that goes long generally gets forgiven, the ball that goes in the net, not so much. Oh, good swing from Becky Amanda. Let that one go only to see it land on the floor by her feet. Serving problems were what caused the USA to lose the first set. It's the last thing they need to come back and haunt them here in the fourth set. Oh, good pick up by Courtney. It was just too wide from Fecky. Poulter had the antenna in the way. Couldn't guide the ball around it. Too far away from... Leia Retke once again coming up with the point. That moves her on to 14 points in this match. She's in fact the top scorer now for the USA. Right 
Oh, just brilliant. You can run out of superlatives, can't you? Such is the quality of the players in this match. Gaviev is under a little bit of pressure from the serve. More than made up for it with a fabulous swing. And a trees now to serve for Brazil. Repke again. If a player is playing well and is proving to be difficult to stop, and you can keep going to them. That's exactly what you're going to do. And Jordan Polter is doing exactly that by finding Retke. That was a very nice play again. Gabby jumped, waited, and then went block out. Changed her rhythm in the air. And we go into the technical timeout, and it is Brazil who lead by two and by two sets to one. So Gabby has been the player for the USA. 23 points now. She's amassed 22 in attack. And that last play from her before the technical timeout was, was a really good example of how players can change their rhythm. Jump early, wait, and then swing. Jump early, swing early. Jump a little bit later and swing early. All these things you need to have to be a world-class spiker. Trying to find solutions past what are world-class blocks. Matt Chris now with the serve. Good up by Amanda. That one has landed in. Gabby's tried to get some block out, but it's a super block. That one just catching the line as it went past Gabby. Bugu had no clue where it had gone. Polter to serve. Mara's been a bit quiet. We'll be pleased to have had that opportunity to get the swing. Once again, USA now, they're making touches on the ball and they're making the court seem that little bit smaller for Brazil, a little bit more difficult to get the ball down. Gabby with the serve. Fabulous dig that from Leia. That one's gone wide of the line. Mara getting her hands on it, but it doesn't land in. Point separating the teams. Larson to serve. Becky into the front row for the USA. <laughs> oh, yes. A super spike from Drews. Good leave. Something that the USA are doing well actually with their serving is there are they are getting it in between players. That was another example of that, trying to get it in that corridor of uncertainty between one passer and another into uh, making it difficult for them. One thing that Brazil have started to doing, as we saw from a few end-on shots, is they're actually serving tough, but they're serving right at players who aren't having to move. So it's making that a little bit more easier for the USA to get their side out. Amanda makes a good pick-up. And Gabby with a fabulous spike. There might just be a challenge coming to see whether or not Gabby towed the three-metre line. She was pretty close to it. 
fact, no challenge coming. So Gabby takes the point, having to hit from that left-hand side in Amanda's place from the back row. Very good hit from her. Brazil now two in front. Mara with the serve once again. It's a good touch in the block. Oh, yes, what a block from Abugu. Macris perhaps maybe thinking she should have gone behind first time round instead of going out to Amanda. And when she did go there, Abugu is all over that. That is an absolute monster block. Super spike for Brazil. Too quick for the cameras. That time Paolo had gone one way, the balls hit the block and gone the other. Drew's last serve wasn't a good one, it was into the net. Does better with this one. No middle attack coming here. Oh, fantastic pickup. That's not gone out of play. It's landed in. Amanda's struggling at the moment against this USA block. It has been called out, in fact. Amanda's come up with a point, now she has the serve, no challenge coming from the USA. Oh, good serve. At last, Brazil managed to get a ball in between two passes. That one's in between Fecky and Larson. And that's what causes the problems, putting the ball into the conflict area. And it's an ace serve for Amanda. by the USA. After we slide out, row five, we're, we're spreading, okay? Never set too much slide, so Jordan can go. I mean, uh, thank you. We're spreading. That means you're going to be quick to the side, but we have to pick it, okay? In row six, there's going to be a problem with teams, so see where middle block is going. Spread, 16. Good dig from Leia. Good covering. Well, it's been given as four touches, so there'll be a challenge here from Guimaraes because he believes that's hit the net and hit the block. And as uh, those of you who have been following here in Nebraska over the last few days will have seen a few of these instances where the referees call for four touches, the coach has challenged, and it's proved to be a correct challenge because the ball has hit the net and the block. And lends itself to the referees moving towards not bothering to call these because as we've seen it's hit the block make the impetus on the blocking team to call to challenge that it didn't touch them as opposed to having a challenge that nine times out of ten shows it did touch them stat borne out by Hawkeye 
since its introduction and the ability to call that particular play. Every time Amanda goes to serve that ball, looks like she's going to lose it on that last bounce. Oh, good up from Macris. USA come knocking again. And the door was open. Repke puts the ball on the floor. Amanda did well, got herself in the way of it. Repke comes up with the point. Good lead from Gabby. USA trying to take the front court swing it away from the rest of her team by going to the sideline. Tactical change this for the USA. Fecky's gone off, she hasn't passed that well. Robinson's come back in. Fecky's definitely been hitting well. So Robinson in for passing and defending. Anna Patrice with the serve. Oh dear. Well, it was oh dear, and then it was oh Drews with a great swing. Martin almost took uh, Polter's head off with that, and then Drews comes in and buries it through the middle. It's a bit tight, Macris. Oh yes. It was tight to the net. Macris only had one thing in mind. Let's find Mara. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Up miles in the air, waiting to swing on the ball. Into the second technical timeout. Brazil lead by three. No chance at all for USA's front line or secondary line in defence. Brilliant swing from Mara. That was a super spike. Chris now with the serve for Brazil. Yeah, getting the better of a bugu. Courtney keeps it in play, but unfortunately Polter not quick enough to go and get the secondary touch, and Brazil extend their lead here. Bugu is uh, very much a player in the mould of uh, Faluke Akinradewo, with her height and strength and ability to hit that slide behind. Okay, Akin Radua was in fact an MVP in the World Grand Prix back in 2010 before it was called the Volleyball Nations League. Destiny Hooker, another one in 2011. Megan Hodge in 2012. And uh, Daniel Scott Aruda back in 2001. Some world class players for the USA. And Logan Tom was probably one of their uh, best outside hitters of a generation back in 2004. Oh, that's brilliant! What a pickup from Abugu! But it was just too close to the net, and Mara could stand there and wait with her hands up to make sure it didn't come over. But some stunning volleyball from the USA in defence, and Chiaka Abugu is just playing inspired volleyball. Aspiration needs clearing from the court. Player safety paramount. Don't want anybody slipping or landing on it, doing an ankle in. Omara well, came in late, came off her head. Leia and almost got it. Drews comes up with the point. Leia has quietly gone about her business for Brazil. Making the digs, making the passes, keeping the rallies going. Drew's coming up with the point, though, for the USA. They need a few more from serving. Larson with the ball. Brazil's passing's been very good. Although the USA's blocking is getting good. Drew's comes up with the block. And they're now to within a couple.
Larson with the serve. Great touch by the USA. And Amanda was chasing out wide. Wasn't out there ready to try and deal with Drews. It's off the block and away. USA back to within one. The crowd are going crazy here. At this uh, wonderful Pinnacle Bank Arena. Timeout call by Brazil. Getting tasty now in this fourth set. USA have only lost one match so far in the Volleyball Nations League in 2019. It was a five-set thriller against the Dominican Republic in week two. They lost three sets to two. Are they on the verge of their second defeat here? Brazil lead by two. Super spike from Mara. Look at that one-handed boom. That one is not coming back. Brazil have lost three matches in the Volleyball Nations League. They too lost to the Dominican Republic by three sets to one. They lost to Poland 3-2. And they lost to Germany 3-2. Change is coming. And that is a blocking substitution. Amanda's gone off. Maiani's come in. They'll decide where she's going to go, whether she's going to block through the middle. Anna Matriz is going to block through the middle. They are both middle blockers by trade. Brazil looking to see if they can make something happen now from this rotation. And in fact, Maiani's gone out to two. Paula's gone out to four. Oh, it didn't quite work. Maiani made the touch. But Fecky gets the block out, so that special teams play didn't work. Great swing that by Fecky. So Amanda's going to come back in. Maiani's going to go off because Amanda's got passing to do who would deserve well played by uh, man that's come off of uh, Mabugu who's played that ball the lines judge saying it was oh, the end court judge not showing a touch and saying it gone out but it had hit USA defender on the way out Brazil make their double change Macris is coming on sorry Roberta is coming on to serve Paula goes off Lorena comes into the front row Big swing from Fecky, could be costly. Polter is in to keep it alive, that's too tight to the net. Good touch by Larson. They are making a good dig, Anna Patrice out of the action. Fecky now out of the action, but she's done it too wide. And the crowd aren't allowed to dig it back in play, so Brazil take the point. Both teams working really hard to keep that ball alive. And unfortunately for the USA, they couldn't take the ball. Brazil not giving up. Timeout called by the USA. Interesting comment there from Lucas Slave saying that on that perfect pass, Brazil are trying to force the middle, and they have to be wary of that. 
trying to stop Mara and Anna Patrese where they can. But Mara's been running on the A quick in front. They haven't run a lot of slide behind. The USA have done with Retke. One thing that the USA have done very well is that uh, Obugu has been able to stop and get good touches on the quick attacks that Brazil have run. Brazil now four points away from victory. Roberta with the serve. Oh, it's an ace serve from Roberta. And Larson shanks the ball into the crowd. Fabulous serve from Roberta. Again, look at that. It's right in between Fecky and Larson. And, uh, Jordan Larson, she wasn't sure Fecky took out the way a little too late. But it's about that serve into the conflict area, in between two passes, always going to create problems. Roberta to serve again. This time Fecky takes it and has the swing. Gets herself and her team out of trouble with that hit. Much to the consternation of Guimaraes, 91 kilometres an hour. Big hit. Drews with the serve. Trouble here for Brazil. Free ball for the USA. Well, they'll get the point, but it almost didn't happen because... Megan Courtney was getting right in the way of Retke, who wanted to run on the slide behind. Had to make some adjustments. In fact, it was Mary Lake. Unfortunately, Retke does enough to get it off the block and away from where Brazil were defending. Ooh, trouble again for Brazil. Just the tip coming from Fecky. A chance now, high and wide, Lorena. Easily picked off by Mary Lake. Retke, oh, gets blocked. Lorena puts that right back into Retke. And Brazil get the point. That could be the pivotal moment in this set. As the block comes back into the face of Retke. A monster block for her. Brazil now 23-20. That could have been so different at 21-22. And USA potentially serving. But that's the small margins that can have big consequences. Gabby, she's not found. Oh, she has found the block. Off the hands and away. The Brazil fans are up on their feet because it's match point now for Guimaraes' team. They're sensing victory. Amanda with the serve. No middle coming. Fecky to keep the USA in it. Leia makes the dig, a swing for the match, but Amanda can only tip. Still, though, USA scrambling. There's going to be another chance here. Gabby for the match, and she's done it. It's off the block and down. A fantastic performance from Brazil as they take the set. 25-20. They have beaten the USA by three sets to one here in Nebraska. The fans go wild, a brilliant victory, a fantastic game of volleyball. What a way to wrap up week three of the Volleyball Nations League. Well, it really was a great game of volleyball. It was always going to be close, it was always going to be high level. And Brazil really did up their game to take the first two sets, 25-19, 25-17. A change of personnel for the USA and a few, I'd say sage words if I was being kind, but probably harsh and shouty words from Coach Kurtz Kirai. Got the USA back into it, they took the set 25-22. But Brazil were able to hold off the USA in set four to take that one 25-20. When the chips are down and when they're up against the best teams, it seems to bring out the best in Brazil, even with Natalia on the bench, still recovering from sore knees and only being into the squad for this week. So not doing as much jumping as she would like, trying to ease her back in. A fantastic victory, well played by Brazil. They'll be delighted with that, and so they should be.
This is how it was done. USA giving it their all, couldn't find an opportunity to have a meaningful swing. And in the end, it was Gabby who gets it in the seam of the block, the gap between Polter and Retke. Disappointment for the USA, utter delight for Brazil. What a game. Well, here are the stats from the match overall. Brazil with three extra points in attack, eight blocks each, more aces from Brazil. But the worrying stat for the USA is they gave Brazil 21 points in errors, something they will be looking at when they go back to the uh, training gym. So that concludes our coverage from week three of the Volleyball Nations League. We hope you've enjoyed the volleyball from all of us here. Thank you for watching and thank you for being part of the game.